All right, welcome back to the Girl From The Network. Today we're at Amanda's Garden. A lot of people don't know about our sponsor bed. So uh, these uh, people ask like about the tags that are on them. And these were just last season, we actually did a sponsored uh, garden or a sponsored raised bed uh, type videos where some of our subscribers these were just empty beds. We got the beds for free, but we, then we didn't have the money to fill them up. Uh, so some of our subscribers donated to our channel and that helped us actually fill the beds up with soil, some amendments, um, and plants. So um, I want to thank you, Miss Anita Hill, and you'll probably see her name somewhere in the comments of this video. What we've been doing this year is something a little bit different. Um, we have been sending out, uh, we have sent out a private video that we didn't release to any subscribers. It was just us and the kids and just talking to Miss Anita about the bed. So we did do that this year. Uh, I thought this would be a good time to actually do an update video. You seen our, our first video was sometime in February, I think. And that was titled like it's time to start gardening no matter what, what age you are. Um, so I'll put a link to that video either in the description or in the video somewhere at the top um, but this is where the bed has come so far it's June the 1st <clears throat> today and this is where the bed is coming uh, the Husky Reds have done really really well look I see a worm uh, they've done really well uh, I think we've gotten ahead of our worm problem <laughs> For the most part, um, we were at a point where we were picking up like every day 10 or so, probably even more than that. Now we're coming out where we're kind of just getting to maybe one or two here or there. So maybe they're dying out or maybe we've gotten ahead of that cycle. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to just come in and try not to just uh, encourage the pest. And we're just going to do some picking. Uh, so some of this stuff. We've started our canning, and today I'm going to actually be taking our uh, peppers. These are Jane Marconi peppers, and we'll actually be just freezing these. So we get them, chop them up, and just freeze them. So Marconi peppers, we're going to let this one turn uh, red, like all the way red, just so you can see how it looks when it gets fully red. No, don't pick that one. I know you can pick it. Um, this, as I get, let me get this one out. Just a little bite on it. Uh, this here, what we've done, if you look down and you see this, we're just leaving this as just a decoy type uh, eggplant. And all this is, is if you look at our uh, how to get rid of rabbits or how to fight rabbits, it's the same pepper. We just put it inside our little bottle and then we just dip the eggplant in it like that. And that way if something comes and eats on this one, hopefully it chooses this one first and then it probably won't come back anymore, at least until it goes and finds some water. So, uh, let me get me another one. Getting really hot this time of year. Getting really hot this time of the year, so uh, stay hydrated, drink your cucumber juice, um, this cucumber looks like it's going out, but I'm starting to see some more uh, Fruit. fruits on it. So we're going to leave it. But these, I'm not going to leave these any longer. I'm going to get those tomatoes off. those off I think we're having a good year so far on our tomatoes like I say when you're getting attacked by those home worms and those little worms that we just pulled off it takes you might have a whole bunch of tomatoes but they like really eat half of them off of you so I think by getting ahead by us coming out every morning kind of picking through them uh, during the, the quarantine thing I'm um, having more time to be at home has actually done us uh, more good than harm. 
I'm starting to see these little bugs, but I don't know what they are. Which one? Right over here. It's hard to see. It's these little bugs. I don't know what that is, but it's my second one I've seen. They don't really run from you. Um, so I have been able to smash them. But I don't know what they are. The babies of something I know. Let's see what that is. Something's putting some kind of babies down. Before you know it, they'll be. I'm gonna take that one. May do a green tomato on it. See something's ate the top. So we take that one off too as well. Sometimes it's best to, if you see something that's kind of got in it, you really can't tell, and you got enough, sometimes it's best to go ahead on it. Get in there and take it off. Let me get this one right in there. So another good one. It still has probably a few more days to go, though, so we're going to sit them inside. Coming around, we just harvested a lot of the cucumbers, so I mean, we gave it. We actually cut all the little leaves off that were dying off. I'm gonna try this uh, hydrogen peroxide spray on them, see if I can get a little bit more life out of them, a few more weeks out of them. Let me get up in here, get all of these. These are really nice and red. I'm dropping them now. That's the only thing about these. I see a spider in them. Get out of the way. Maybe best to have me some little gloves on to fight the spiders. That's that little thing again. So, Miss Anita, we want to say thank you for sponsoring this bed. Really has, really has done for us done well and this is just maybe our second or third time harvesting from this bed actually this season uh these are really starting to put on now we had about i'm gonna say look at that look at the clusters on them we had about let's see if i can get down in there two or maybe two weeks of fighting with these where we started to see the the little cabbage worms loopers whatever people call them started kind of moving in on us so that was that was a trying time for us and it was kind of scary the more they started coming in um, but now now you can see you don't see where anything is like eating the leaves off a lot of the leaves that were eaten you can see them way back here but up here you can see how new they are no holes in them so I think we've gotten ahead of most of our problems just by picking every day. We pick worms, caterpillars. Somebody was on me about that because I keep saying worms. But most of them look like little cabbage worms to me. Um, people want to call them caterpillars. It, whatever you want to call it. See, one got a hole in it up under here, so I'm going to get that one off. Something's on it. It's some kind of little bug. It's not moving. That's a stinky ball. Probably so. So, chicken food for the day. Our food for the day. Uh, so, thank y'all for watching the Grow Family Network. Um, still, it's going to be a good year. We're just getting started on the harvesting. Bed by bed is filling up the kitchen. We're trying to pickle and process, freeze, and make soups as best we can with dehydrating. Uh, so we're trying not to waste it. That's the most important thing I think is we're trying to figure out how not to waste uh, the produce that we're getting from the garden just by letting it sit on the counter. So whatever we can't process or freeze or dehydrate, then I'm calling somebody to come get it or we're trying to give it away. We just don't want to waste it ourselves. And a little bit that the bugs do get to we go ahead on and feed it to the chickens and they give us back the eggs. So try to keep that cycle thing going. Um, just like Miss Anita actually donated to us and what she gave to us, and we're giving it back to somebody. 
and just like that that big garden circle of life so uh thank y'all for watching now we got to go and water these things because they're looking a little droopy but i wanted to get the vegetables off it before we actually water it so uh thank y'all for watching the grow family network and as always grow peace she did it peace